During this video segment, I want to show you the lesson planner sharing feature that we built in. This is especially useful if you have multiple teachers that teach the same grade. For example, in your school, if you have three second grade teachers, you could have each of those, each of those teachers will have their own lesson plans. However, if you're team teaching, you may ha want to have only one of those teachers enter uh, their lessons into curriculum track and have the other two teachers have the ability to copy down those lessons. In order to do this, well, first of all, let's show you what it allows you to do, and then I'll show you how you can set this up. So if I go to, currently I'm logged in as Dan Barons, and if I go to the weekly planner, you'll notice that I don't have anything set up for my art courses, but for second grade science, I have bodies of water, which we're teaching on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, we're gonna teach the Atlantic Ocean and part of Thursday, and then Thursday, we're also gonna teach Pacific Ocean and then finish up on Friday. So I can click on any of those lessons if I want to see it and so forth. So this is what Dan Behrens is teaching, and he's one of the second grade teachers. However, if I log in as another second grade teacher, let's go ahead and log in as Laura Koss. Um, so now notice I'm logged in as Laura. And if we look at Laura's weekly planner, notice that her second grade science right now is empty. So if I want to copy, or if Laura wants to copy the lessons, as well as the scope and sequence of those lessons from Dan for the week, you can only do a week at a time, but um, I can go ahead and choose Dan. And this shows me what Dan's lesson plan, weekly planner looks like. And notice the icon changes, copy all the lesson assignments to my weekly planner. In other words, from Dan's to mine, from Dan's to Laura's. So Laura can click on this and it says, okay, where do you want this to go? Because she might have multiple class sections. Um, she only has one for science. So let's do this and we'll click copy. So now notice I'm logged in as Laura. This is Laura's uh, weekly planner. And notice that it perfectly mimicked exactly what Dan was teaching. Not only does it put all those lessons in Laura's weekly planner, but if we go to Laura's uh, lessons database, so my lessons database and second grade science, notice that it added in those three lessons as well. So it's a really nice way where one of the teachers can not only add the lessons, but add those to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then the recipient teacher simply will go to her weekly planner, but change the teacher name from herself to whoever the teacher is that you know first set things up, and then you can copy this over. I don't want to do this again because if I do, I'm going to have duplicates. Um, now, in order to set that up, let's go back. She in order to set that up, what she must do is go to class section setup and then for the class where she wants that sharing to occur, she needs to come in here and allow. Now you might say, wait a minute, how'd that work if this wasn't checked? That's because Dan had it checked. So the way it is right now, Laura can copy down from Dan, but Dan wouldn't be able to copy from Laura. So if I check this, that means that if I go back in again as Dan Barons and go ahead and log in, and if he goes to the weekly planner, notice now he'll be able to see Laura's and he'll be able to copy Laura's as well, which he doesn't want to do because he already has these in here. So it's as simple as those teachers that want to share will go to teacher tool or lessons and then to the class section setup go to the class that they want to share and check this box. And the person who checks it is the one that they'll be able to copy from. This now concludes this video segment on the lesson planner sharing tool.